This is a slam ball drill just with another progression. Again, I think anytime you can take a, a basic footwork drill and progress it to more game like, the better. So um, McKenna's going to go up still. She's going to grab that ball. She's going to come down, and I'm not going to give her a whole lot of time. Okay, she, she didn't get all the way to her setter. She got a little too deep in transition. I want her to be involved in the offense. I want her to have to make decisions. Okay, she's going left, so she's not going to have a lot of time. Okay, you see how she kind of floated into that attack? Um, she didn't quite close. Someone else, can you go and show? We'll do, do at least two girls so they can kind of see just how this looks. Okay, Kayla's going to go this time. She's going to reach and grab that ball. I'm going to give her a little time to transition. See how she didn't get all the way back? Hit something other than a one. They're liking the ones right now. I want them to work a little bit harder. Okay? I want them to try to hit something different. Okay, again, as a coach, that's our job is to challenge them. A one is easy, it's simple, it's oh, I want to be in the offense, I don't want to not get set. But to me, I want to see them try to run a slide. I want to see them try to challenge themselves a little bit, uh, a little bit more than just doing what's comfortable. Okay, so make sure in this drill they do not, especially when you involve a setter and a ball and they're actually attacking, that you're watching their transition off the net, that they're not getting deeper than the 10 foot line. Both of them did get pretty deep and they, they almost always ended up hitting here because they didn't get their feet to the ball. Okay, so very important that they do not transition too deep so that they can stay in the offense.